Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day at 10 a.m., a staff or volunteer will present a, an artwork from the Cincinnati Art Museum collection. Check back each day for a new artwork and a new conversation. Today, I will be talking about Marc Chagall's Red Rooster, or Le Coq Rouge. First, I'll describe the painting briefly. This is a horizontal piece, 28 inches by 36 inches. And in this painting, we see a red rooster dominating the canvas. Above him is a blue-faced man flying toward a moon. A sideways chicken is in the air next to the moon. And below it, a large tree provides shade for a clothed donkey playing the violin and a man with a red hat. Under the rooster's large red foot, a small man sketched in red shows the on the white and gray painted background. The technique Chagall uses shows outlined objects in airy brushwork that looks almost like a watercolor wash. Looking at this artwork, it might appear to the viewer as a warped nursery rhyme, but it directly connects to Chagall's memories and traumas. Look for a second at this artwork and think about what it means to you. Listen to your heart and reflect on your own experiences, the way Chagall did. He's quoted saying, if I create from the heart, nearly everything works. If from the head, almost nothing. Chagall was a Russian-French Jewish artist. Born in current day Belarus, he grew up in the Jewish shtetl culture, which is a very rural farm-driven culture. He moved to Paris in 1910 to become a part of the Bohemian Art Society. He met a lot of influential Parisians like Modigliani and Delaunay at this time. As Nazis began to invade Europe, though, Chagall became more and more at risk. In March of 1939, over 1,000 paintings and 4,000 watercolors and drawings of modern artists, including Marc Chagall, were burned in the courtyard um, of a fire station in Berlin. When Paris was invaded by the Nazis in 1940, Chagall really needed a way out. He was able to move to America in 1941 thanks to efforts of the New York Museum of Modern Art. His name was added to the list of prominent artists whose lives were at risk and who uh, the United States should extricate. The Red Rooster was made in 1940 during this very tumultuous time in Chagall's life. So as you can imagine, he was trying to escape these horrors through his art and used uh, creating as a form of escapism like many artists do. James Johnson Sweeney, a curator at the Museum of Modern Art at the time of Chagall's arrival to the United States, talks about the artist's lack of explanation on his own work. Quote, if you ask Chagall to explain his paintings, he would reply, I don't understand them at all. They are not literature. They are only pictorial arrangements of images that obsess me. My painting represents not the dream of one people, but of all humanity. End quote. 